my man. Thank you. Thank you, Betty Mash. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Welcome to the party. Hey. You're like, what pinch of party? So today I'm going to be doing my Halloween nails. I do have like a whole layer of acrylic on my nails right now. So I might be a little dusty. Let me just file the corners because who am I playing? I was pretending like if these, I had short nails, what they would look like. <laughs> Can you guys imagine me with short nails? Lord. I was going to soak mine off too, but then I was like, nah, I'm not going to keep filing my natural nail. I, I just shave them down to the, I'm going to still use nude maybe. So I left the nude color on there. Hello, Laureen. And you guys already know I'm obsessed with um square nails. So they're going to be square. I'm going to be a Katrina for Halloween. So if you guys don't know what that is, it's the Day of the Dead. Um, The Skull Lady with the flowers and all of that shit. So that's my inspo for today. We're going to do a lot of flower today, honey. And I'm going for my square, square, square. Where? Right. Number four. One, two, three. Hola. Damn, this is big as shit. Number three is too big. I have big ass fingers. So number four is a little small, but fuck it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. The other one is too big. I'd rather just pretend like my fingers are smaller. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Damn, girl. What size is your pinky, honey? Honey, your pinky is a number seven. What? Okay, girl. So these are my nails. So officially, these have been how many weeks? Two weeks? <sighs> or is it three weeks already? I don't fucking know. I don't know. I don't know what how many weeks has been. Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, I have some big ass fingers. Big hand, big finger. If I was a guy, I would have all the ladies. All up on me, huh? And I, <laughs> like, <laughs> bigger than some people's, you know what? I don't know what fingers they use. And I, <laughs> what tips? These are the 3XL square. So I'm using my 3XL square tips. And y'all already know this finger goes crooked. So I try to kind of like, Straighten it up, but sometimes me paso de verga. Alrighty, I'm so excited for my nails. Because I did a design like similar to what I'm going to do, but not quite. Last year on a fake hand, and I was like, bitch. Bitch. I wish those were mine, but this year I can finally have something just as pretty. So the color theme is going to be black and red. Patolas Toxicas. 
Thanks, you guys. So, I've been doing this length so long already that I feel like 2XL is too small. It's too small for me. I got a green knee so no nails for a while. Girl, you can put one on. You just have to make sure to um not leave your nails on when they're lifted. So the greeny um the bacteria is it dies once it comes in contact with the air, but the little stain will still be there. But you could put a nail on shade. Just make sure the area is nice and dry before you put one. No moisture in them. All right, so I'm just gonna cut the little, the little, just the tip. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna cut the number because remember I was being a little bitch. I was being a little bitch the other day. I was like, girl, this too long. And my ring finger has officially grown out. I'm so oh fuck, I got stuck. I'm so happy. Just a tip, just a tip. How can I do a good pop off method? How long? Well, the question is, how long do you want to keep them on for? Um, so I have a pop-off base coat that you can use. And you could leave your nails on for up to like a week. Um, and then pop them off. Or if you want them to come off right away, you just put a little bit of oil right before it. And you can pop them off when you're done. But you can still file without them falling off. It's it's called a pop off base coat. I don't have it on my table, but or else I would show you. But you can find it on my store. I was using it on my son last time. I've been wanting to use it on myself, but I always say that I'm just gonna keep them for like, hmm, let's just say a couple of days, and then how to call it. I want to change them ASAP or I'll lose one at work or whatever in my glove. And I'm like, damn it. Oh, shit. What the fuck? All right. Hold on. Let me put it on all the nails. So normally I don't like do the nail prep when I have like acrylic on my nail. But I did have a little bit of growth. So I did go ahead and push my cuticles and file the little teeny weeny growth I had. So that's why I'm just pretending like I'm prepping the whole thing. Well, I'm not pretending. I am prepping it. Just in case y'all like, what the fuck, Zule? You never prep your shit when you have um acrylic on your nail bed. But I want these to last because I don't know when I'm going to do these nails again. So and they're going to be fucking beautiful so i'm just the primer i'm literally just gonna put it in my cuticle though because that's everything that's grown out or pretty much like if i was doing the mini little fill lately my nails have been growing so fast i'm like what the hell what the hell do the nails last if you leave a little bit of acrylic um as long as the acrylic's not lifted it doesn't matter like it won't it won't like cause them to lift. Yeah, I've been changing my nails a lot. So I don't want to have to like file my natural nails so much each time I switch them. That's why I left the acrylic on there. You guys can see the little nude part. I don't know if you guys can see the nude. Like it's not your typical nail bed color. So my thumb, siempre me lo pongo chueco. Oh, well. Today I'm going to be doing my Halloween nails. I'm going to be a Katrina. I will show you guys my inspo picture, but it's on the phone that I'm fucking using right now. Oh, actually, I sent it to, to Lori. I mean, no, not Lori, to Dory. I could show it to you guys, maybe. 
Where the fuck is my Instagram? Dori, what is your name on here? Okay, look it. So this is my inspo for Halloween. What the fuck? Oh shit. So I'm gonna try to do my makeup like that and shit. So my nails are gonna be something inspired with roses and and all that good stuff. And black. And with some wait, did I do my nails already? Yeah, I did. I think I did. I don't fucking remember. Let me do it again just in case. Um and like mm, lace vibes. No, I'm not going to do any sugar skulls. Not on my nails. All right, so there's my prep trio. Now I'm going to get my clear acrylic. Oh, no, I don't need it, huh? Bitch, I don't need it because I already have acrylic on my nail. All right, I'm going to get my smooth and monomer. I put my smooth and monomer. Fill it up. And what happened, Francesca? Why the long face? Let me get my little mesh. They still going to be bomb anyway. Oh, you wanted the little sugar school. Oh, they're going to be better. So I'm going to be using this mesh. That's what I call it, I think. Yeah, right? That's what it's called, the black mesh. It has like a little bit of like silver. I mean... Like gold, I think. So, I'm going to do my ring finger and... Or should I do my pinky? I'll do... Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll do my pinky now. And... I'll do my pinky. And this one probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pinky, pinky. All right, let's trim it. And the middle and the index. Yeah. Oh, shit. I cut it too short. Oh, well. Okay, well, I'm just going to put it. I'm going to put it on the whole nail. So let me get my clear acrylics. I have my mini sketch already. But look it. So here's my little sketch vibes or whatever. But it's not in the correct order sometimes. Like, I flip them around. All right, let me get my clear acrylic. I got some of that in my mystery box and don't know what it is, girl. Which, which phone number is it? 282. Hold on, let me get a brush. Okay. Oh, you got a, a notification? Mm -hmm. It's right here. 225-305. Okay. okay. So I'm going to put it on my pinky. And I'm going to apply the clear acrylic on the nail. Just to kind of like make it kind of stick and not move. Doesn't need too much, just enough for it to like lay on there. Like literally just lay there. Hey Crystal. So I'm just gonna add some clear acrylic just to kind of like hold it down and this applies really easily you just need to let it dry and then you can start trimming the excess so just get your little scissors and trim 
You could even glue it down if you want, but I feel like glue is just hella messy. So I do just clear acrylic. Um, There's different kinds of mesh. So there's some that have foil, some that have just the little, the little gold in there. So we have two different styles in the store. This one comes in a set with a gold one as well. All right, so you want to trim it, give it like a little trim, like a little haircut um, so that it does not stick out of the nail. Because let me tell you, if it's sticking out, it's going to be your, your, it's going to be a pain in the ass. I mean, once you're like encapsulating. So trim that motherfucker. All right, it's, it's trimmed. Trim, trim, trim. Okay, so the next one I'm going to do, I'm going to do, motherfucker, stop moving. I guess I'll do this one because I have other plans for the other two fingers. Hmm. Me do for you. Yeah, I'm going to do that. All right, so I'm going to play here. This one, I'm only going to apply like, um, like not the full nail, but something like that. So it's easier to apply once it's like smaller pieces like this. Like, boom, we just slapped it on. Zule, are we allowed to mute today or no? Yeah, you guys can mute or block if you want, but... Just don't block everyone because then my block list gets hella long. All right, so I'm just going to do kind of like up to there. Girl, I'm new here. I want to start doing my own where I purchase all of this. Um, You can follow the link on my bio and it will direct you to my store. You You can find all of this on there. All right, so I'm just going to do two nails um, right now with the little mesh. We'll see if I want more. So I'm going to encapsulate this one. Just wet it a little bit. I like your fingers. Thank you. They're like little sausages. They're like little salchichitas. I'm so excited for the finished look. Oh my God, they're going to be so cute. So cute. I love it. So my costume does have like a little veil. Um, It's like a um, lace veil. It doesn't look exactly like the mesh. I don't have lace material. And I've used lace before and it's a pain in your ass. So I was like, you know what? The mesh will do. It People will get the idea. And it looks similar. So I ordered my nail tips last night. Yes, honey. They'll be out soon. Which nail tips did you get? So I like to work a little bit at a time and then work my way down the nail. They look like spider webs. Oh, yes, they definitely could be used as spider webs as well. Like whatever you like. The girl from the picture, my inspo picture for my makeup, she does have spider webs in the face. So, I mean, that would be kind of cool. <sighs> Your nails your nails in long your fingers so we can do it all for real huh i think that's why i like to wear long as nails because i have chubby fingers chubby finger and normally other shapes that are not square complement chubby fingers but i'm a little rebel so i go against what i should be really wearing What nail tips do you recommend for beginners? For beginners, I recommend pre-shaped nail tips. That way you don't have to um, work too hard getting the shape you want. 
Um, and I would recommend for you to get nail tips that are thin, not thick. I don't know why people are like so... Um, like, there's not a lot of people, but there's a few people who are like... Um, what the fuck is that called? Like, like, they're like, oh, the nail tips need to be thick. If they're thin, they suck. Like, no, ma'am. If they're thick, you're going to work harder to file. Like, the tip is just there for length, not for strength. So, keep that in mind. Nail tips are not there for support. Um, these that I have are just square. So a pre-shaped nail tip would be like a stiletto, a coffin, a tapered square, like those. Can you do my birthday nails? Sure, girl. Book an appointment. So because there's like little strings popping out in some of these little sides i'm trying to make sure everything is nice and covered because if how to call it you don't encapsulate it and you leave a little hole water can get in there and then um it can start lifting like a long time ago i remember that I didn't fucking encapsulate a sticker properly. I mean, this is not a sticker, but I mean, it's similar. And my whole nail lifted. I was like, what the hell? What the hell? All right. Let's check the sides. Um, This brush, I want to say, is the unicorn number 12. I'm not using my normal brush that I normally use. I kind of got acrylic stuck to it earlier because my dumbass was doing a nail and then I left to pick up my son and I forgot to clean it. And I'm like, damn it. Do you do lives with your clients? I don't, but I probably should. I really don't do lives with clients, actually. Hold on, there's a little gap right here. Because... First of all, my signal at the salon sucks ass. And then... Oh, shit. Hold on. I need nude. And then another reason is because when my clients come get their nails done, they are coming to, like, catch up, like, to vent, tell me what they've been up to, their little chismesitos. And... If I'm live, everyone and their mama are gonna hear them and a lot of their their um their what is it called? A lot of their families or friends, they follow me too. So they if they're talking about them, they gonna fucking find out. So yeah. I don't wanna expose them like that or whatever. So for the nude color, I'm using Cover Dusty Rose. My client today told me, good cheese, man. Ooh, I love the good cheese, man. Yeah, like imagine your client's over here telling you that she cheated on her man or something like that. And then you're like on fucking live. And then she has like a, like a voice that you can't, you can't, like you can tell it's her. Like, if you're her fucking sister, cousin, or whatever, you'll be like, bitch, that's fucking too late. What the fuck? Like, girl, you... Mm -mm. No, that would not be the business. Like, I feel like people who go on live sometimes, well, based on the ones I've seen that are live on TikTok, they have, like, normal conversations or no conversation at all with their clients. But for my clients, I feel like we... We have a conversation. A chismecito conversation. Um, yeah. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not looking at the comments. I'm over here talking to myself. But yeah, that's why I don't go. That's why I don't go live. And then people will be complaining that my shit's blurry or lagging or whatever. I'm stressed out. Why are you stressed out, Portia? 
how old do you how do you hold your brush when you're doing your non when you're doing your dominant hand this i try to you hold it the same like if you're holding a paintbrush or a pencil So this whole nail, I'm going to do it nude because I will be doing nail art on the middle finger. I'm going to be painting it with those beautiful red roses that I've been sh teasing you guys with that I did on my client. Hey girl, third time in a row watching you. Yes, yes. Because I had to watch these kids. What kids? They having you as a babysitter today? Girl. Thanks for telling me how to make your long acrylics sturdy. Um, you need to make sure that you apply enough acrylic at your um at your apex. And normally your apex is depending on the length of your nail, it's it's around where your natural nail and your tip meet. So like from here and here, that should be your thickest point of your nail. Oh, this is the pedestal que sobro? Okay, thank you. So that's the part of the nail that needs to be the thickest. Everything else should be a nice thickness, not too thick, not too thin because um, it will still break if you like bump it and all of that. But you don't want to make them too thick where it look like camel hump type of vibe unless that's what you're going for. But I, I don't really like that. Um, how do you get the acrylic not stuck on the brush? You need to wipe it. So the more that you clean your brush... As you work, the less acrylic you'll get stuck to it. So as you can see right here, I picked up the acrylic and then wiped it off on my brush. All the time that my brush comes down, um, I'm pretty much wiping off any acrylic or excess monomer that I may have on the brush. So that's how you get a clean brush all the time. You guys have to remember to wipey, wipey. Because if you don't wipey, wipey, you're going to have all kinds of shit. Literally. On your ass and on your brush. And then you keep adding some more. Okay, just kidding. I heard wrong. This color is so pretty. Stop cursing. I do what I want, girl. If you don't like it, get out of here. This is my profile. I could do whatever the fuck I want. If you don't like bad words, this ain't the page for you. I love long nails. That's why. If you guys don't like long nails... It's cool, but I do. So fuck you. And you're the only nail tech I like watching. Oh shit, I didn't finish watching reading your 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 comment. Sorry. Thank you guys for for coming to hang out with Zule and her three XL fucking nail. Next time, I'm going to be doing like 5XL and shit. Who's your favorite nail tech? Um, my favorite nail tech, my inspiration has always been Mindy Hardy and Vanessa's nails. I love them both. Sorry, I stepped away, but I was listening. No worries. Um, right now, there's a lot of talented nail techs that I look up to as well. But those were my favorite two. And it's sad because they're not on social media no more like that. Like, I miss them. There's a fucking glitter right here, but we ain't going to worry about that bitch because it's going to get covered anyway. 
slow your other hand hmm? show i'm gonna add a little bit more here i'm just trying to work slower than usual so that i can get this nail as smooth as possible because girl y'all already know i be making lumpy shit real quick sometimes lumpy humpty dumpty sat on the wall humpty dumpty had a great fall are you doing both hands no i am not doing both hands i really i have to keep these bling bling ones um for another two weeks fuck it's like my little oh shit so the other day i don't remember where the fuck i went i think i was at the store at the grocery store and how to call it the lady, the cashier was like, are you going to be making your nails like this or like this? Like pretty much she thought I was like going to change my nails to match. And I was like, no, ma'am. They never match. And she was just looking at me like, what the fuck? And I'm like, yeah. This color is called Covered Dusty Rose. All right, so so the reason why I did nude first was because I didn't know if I was going to do another nude one. I'll probably do this one with a little bit of nude as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do nude on this one. How do you wipe just like you, girlfriend, with my hands? I think it's fucking annoying when people ask me that. Like, Loki, even if you were not asking, like, to be rude or nothing like that. Like, you don't ask people that. Unless their nails are literally, like, a foot long. Then you think about it, but you never ask that. It's like, how would you feel if I ask you, like, don't you fucking think with that head? You'd be like, bitch, what do you mean? And then be like, yeah, because you fucking have a head. So, like, don't you think? Like, damn. I get that question so much, it annoys me extra. Especially when it comes from a woman. Like, girl, don't you get nails? Don't, you must get nails. Like, you should know better that we don't wipe with our nails. Even if the nails are tiny as shit, you know you don't wipe with them. Like, girl. Like, sometimes the men, they make me laugh when they ask that. Which hand is your dominant hand? I am a lefty, so I'm currently working on my right. So I'm sad to say that these nails may not have a lot of bling. Oh my God, Zule. I'm going to cry just thinking about it. Girl. It's so many people here. Lord. Is like where they come from. Where? I hope everyone in here is following me, liking my videos, commenting. Cause I'm like, what the hell? How do I have all these followers? Um, like I guess when I go live, I get new friends, which I don't mind. But I was like, damn honey, but but can you like my stuff? Can you like it? Can you like? What's the point of having a lot of followers that we don't, the likes don't add up. It don't make sense. The math ain't adding up. Hey, Zule, hey. So make sure if you guys follow me, go show me some love. Interact. 
Hi, Zule. Hi. Yes, I do have a YouTube channel. It is Zule's Nails. All my social medias are Zule's Nails. If you guys find any other ones, they're not mine. Can't wait to see you at the pop-up. Yes, girl. I'm so excited for the pop-up. Oh, my God. I'm going to show you guys also the vendors that are going to be there. And they ended up sending me a list. There's going to be a total of seven of us. There's going to be a lady... I think she's a lady selling tortas. Girl, those tortas look bomb. I'm like, damn, are you wet tragar? And then there's going to be somebody selling coffee. I'm like, girl, sign me up. And then there's going to be somebody selling pastries. And I'm like, oh, my God. No voy a parar de comer. And then there's going to be a young lady, I think. I don't know. I It doesn't show their faces, so I don't fucking know if they're female or male. But I'm just going to call them a young lady because most likely we're all females. Um, Selling like cups or tumblers. So, and then um, my coworker at the salon, she makes earrings, like clay earrings, so she's going to be there selling that, and who else am I missing? Oh, and then I also saw some girl sells cute little plants, so if you guys are plant lovers, um, they sell little plants, there was actually one that had like a little, a little, like, vase or container pot that was a cow i was like oh my god honey i'm like i want that i'm not a plant person but i love cows they're so cute huh my profit's gonna go to food i do love food Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I hope you guys do come through. No me van a dejar como la novia del rancho, toda vestida y alborotada. Y que nadie venga. Voy a estar bien enojada y triste. I'm like, porque nomás me alborotaron y no llegaron las viejas. What will you be selling at the pop-up? I'm going to be selling my products. I'm going to be selling my products. So based on what people told me, they want acrylics, they want monomer, they want files, they want brushes, um, gels, and crystals. Oh, wait. And I think somebody also was like nail tips. Your friend's gender reveal? Girl, well, tell your friend you can't make it because... Tú fuiste la del plan. Be like, girl, pues voy a tu baby shower. I'll be there for sure. Oh, yeah. And then I'm also going to bring um um my shirts. Stacy, tú fuiste la del pinche alboroto. Más te vale que vengas, eh, o si no te vamos a bloquear. Y'all remember her. She was like, Zule, where's the pop-up? Zule, where's the pop-up? But now que su friend va a tener gender review, pues hay que nos diga qué es lo que fue. <laughs> or tell her, hey, can you um, start a little later? Wait for me. All right, let's check this nail out. Back to see, see or no, see or no. I have a party at three, but I'm going, yeah, better late than never, huh? Hold on, I'm at a little bit more up here, yeah. Que gender reveal no es tan importante que el Zule pop up. Like, mija, tráete la amiga, she. Tráete la. Bring this color you're using. Yes, I will bring my cover acrylics because I know you can never go wrong with a nude. All right, those are all the nudes I'm going to be putting. The rest are going to be black. What colors are you using? So the color that I'm using right now is called Cover Dusty Rose. And then I'm going to be using um number two.
I thought this was black hole, but I don't know where I left that one. ¿Dónde estás? Estoy en mi casa. Let me add a little bit more monoma. What's the blank black thing? It's a little mesh. All right, so I'm going to do a little bit of black on that one. The diamonds are holding on strong. Wow. Mm -hmm. I, I lost the one so far right there. Something your mom would say? What? The vestida y alborotada? So I'm going to add a little bit. Hold on, guys. I'll look at the comments again right now. I'm going to try to bring the black down a little bit carefully, not to make it too, too dark. Kind of like if it's a little foggy. No, a donde estás en mi casa. ¿Qué? ¿Qué, qué, 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 qué? Hello from Denmark. Hello. Hi, everyone. Hi, Boogie. Tus uñas son tan bonitas que me encantan. Ay, gracias. So this color just take a little bit to dry. So I'm just holding it in my brush right now. Before I place it. I'm like, I didn't want it to run everywhere or anything like that. So it gives you more than enough time to play with it. So I did something like this, this finger for my Halloween, but with a different mesh. So you guys might mm, like be like, oh, I, I've seen that before. Time I fell asleep waiting for you to go live. I mean, Paige, what do you mean? If black floods the cuticles is the worst. Uh-huh, that's why I was like, give it a couple seconds. If when in doubt, just hold it in your brush and give it time to start. Um, To start, um, oh shit. Polymerizing so that it doesn't go everywhere. See, I didn't hold this one long enough, so I went into my little skin. Seriously, you said early on a live? Girl, I tried to come earlier, but I couldn't. Hold on, let me clean my black right here. I was trying to go on around three or four, but no se pudo. No se pudo, Lola. Any tips on retention problems? I have customers where someone compliments their nails and fall off. Oh, like les hicieron ojo? No, that's a thing, actually. You might not think it, it's a thing, but... Sometimes people could give you bad juju, like on your nails. They call it ojo. Um, where somebody likes your nails, something will happen, like you'll break or some shit. Dile que les den una cachetada mejor. All right, so I'm just going to add a little bit of black here to the corner. I'm missing a little bit there. Um, This one is a number 12 unicorn brush, but I don't think it's available in this style, only in... Princesita. All right, so next is the ring finger. That one's going to be black. Hi, Ana. ¿Cómo estás, Ana? Yeah, ojo is a thing. My mom says that all the time. That's an ojo. Andale, sí. I'm um, talking about ojo. I did get some ojito stickers. I'm about to do a set with that as well. Like, honey, yes. Are the tips full? I can't see. It's a half well. It's not a full well. 
How do you put the mesh down? I put it with clear acrylic. So I just put a little bit of clear acrylic on the nail. And then I put the mesh, kind of like using it as glue. And how do you call it? I encapsulated it. Queremos pastel, pastel, pastel. This acrylics is so black. Ojitos with bebesota. Mm -hmm. That will look boom, boom, boom. We got some ojito stickers. Girl, look at you, one bead. Girl, I didn't even finish the nail. I'm trying, but this nail's just too big for me. Why is black and white hard to use, girl? That's what I want to know. Black is just tricky because it stains so bad. But this acrylic is very easy to use. You just have to give it a little time for it to start setting and you can start moving it around. Patience is key. Especially with dark colors, like, uh-uh. You could stain it so quick. I swear my boss has bad mojo every time I'm around her, I break a nail. Ooh, no, 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 no. You need to carry a lemon when you're around her. What's up, Zule? Hey, oh, I, I missed a little spot right there. Yeah, I, I took off my sweater nails. I'm doing my Halloween nails for my costume. Love it so far. I and he men as que tú eres una tóxica mía. Tóxica. Did you add a thin layer of clear? No, um, I didn't. Only because I have a uh, nude acrylic on my natural nail right now. I have some nude on my nail still from er, my set earlier. When did I do that set? Last week? I am toxic. I know, I'm just kidding. I just call people who like black toxic ass. What's your costume? Let me see if I could find it again. Oh, shit. So, I'm going to dress up as like something like this. I'm going to be a Katrina. So, I bought myself a black dress. I bought myself a black dress. And then I'm going... I got myself a, a veil. A lace veil and with um, a crown that has the red... Excuse me. The red flowers and the black lace veil attached. And then I'm going to paint my face. I'm going to paint my face with, with um, kind of like the picture I showed you guys. I hope I look cute like her shit. I'm going to do my own makeup. Shit, I was practicing yesterday. I did a horrible job. <laughs> I did a horrible job. Let me tell you. <laughs> Go to Walmart. Oh, you're going to Walmart, Mayra? Did that look one year? My colors were black and white. Loved it. Yorona vibes. Mm hmm. Yeah, I think I just needed the the bling bling around the eye. I was thinking maybe even doing. Hold on, fucking glitter, get out of here. Maybe I should do half, half painted like that and half normal. 
But I was like, girl, stop being a little bitch and just do the whole thing. Let me just add a little bit more towards the center on this one. De Katrina Disney a huevo. ¿Tú crees que no me dejen? It's Day of the Dead. El Coco. Yes, go live during your makeup. No, hombre, pa' que se rían de mí, cabronas. Coco vibes, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and Disneyland is Day of the Dead. I mean, I'm not going to go to California Adventure, but I'm going to go. Yeah, they do. Everybody's always dressed up. Patrick went as a banana once. Get Mimi over there to help you all to do my makeup. She's probably going to be doing her own makeup. Hermosa. Yeah, at Disneyland, there's always people with, with, um, with like, Disney costumes. I mean, the only thing that's going to be, like, a costume for me is going to be my head and my face. The rest is just going to be a black dress, like, like, just a regular black dress. Probably have my little chanclitas on. And that's shit. Patrick's gonna be a banana again. He likes that costume. And then El Jefe is gonna be a Darth Vader. I'm be the only weird one with a Katrina over here. How can you wash dishes with those nails? I actually, do I have a video on that? I think I do. I do, I do. I must have one. I actually don't wash too many dishes. I do wash some, not gonna lie, but I don't do a lot of washing. I have a dishwasher. So thankfully, I don't have to do that. But when I do have to, like a quick little washy washy, I, I could do it, girl. I could do it. I could do anything with these hands. A everything and anything. And also my son is in charge of the dishes. Aha, uh -huh. pelando papas. Yo puedo pelar papa, pelo banana. Um, pelo lo que tú quieras. A ver qué más pelo. Juana, Juana, pelame la banana. Wait, was there a Juana in here before? Si tú no me la pelas, me la pela tu hermana. That's what my kids are for, for real. She's like, I cook, you clean, homie. Oh, you wear long nail and you're the fastest one typing? Like, click, 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 Do you use base coat gel on acrylics? Um, I do sometimes. For the most part, I don't. I feel like the adhesion um, is pretty good, but here and there you can if you feel like it. I personally don't really remember to do that, so I don't. But I have used it a few times on myself. What are you doing with the pinky? Um, I'm just going to leave the mesh and put bling on it. As of now, I don't know. Glad the chat slowed down for real. It was moving a little too fast. Like, honey, honey, I can't even read. Girl, I'm struggling with lifting. That's normally a, a popular thing if you're new. So just with practice, make sure that you push the little cuticles back. File the natural nail really well and... And how to call it? Apply your your acrylic 
with your finger face down so that you don't flood your cuticles because that could happen. And then sometimes some people lift faster than others. So if you have like a client who is lifting, but the rest really don't, don't beat yourself up for that. There's people who are really rough with their hands and they do all kinds of shit. So how long have you been live? For almost an hour. I went live at six, I believe. What about sweaty hands? Um, like if your client has sweaty hands? Or you have sweaty hands? If your client has sweaty hands, I recommend for you to wear a glove. Because sometimes they get um, embarrassed. So if you have a glove on, they won't really feel as embarrassed because you can't feel their sweat. I had a client who was super, super sweaty. And she was like, I'm sorry, my hands just sweat a lot. I'm like, don't worry, girl. It's cool. And then my hands be getting sweaty too. And I'm like, fuck. Over here, both of us getting sweaty. And now I wear a glove all the time on one hand. And on the other, I don't. Sweaty, oily nail beds. Oh, okay. Um, I'm not sure if people have sweaty nail beds, but definitely a oily nail bed is a thing. Kind of like how we have oily hair and shit, oily face. Is a thing. I recommend for you to try to try my acid base primer. That one is really good for people with oily nail beds. You like Portia? You like? You lying, honey? Wait till you see. Oh my god, I will show you guys my inspo, but no, you have to wait. Wait. Let me add a little bit more hair. Are they gonna be shiny? Yes, they're definitely all gonna be shiny. So nobody dare to tell me to do a matte nail because I'm not gonna listen. Not today. They need to be shiny. If I'm not going to be adding too much bling, they need to be shiny. Let me do this one. No matte today. No way, Jose. Like, no way, Jose. Queremos pasen. Today we're going to watch the movie Clipper. Um, how did I get so good? Oh, thank you, girl. Girlfriend, it took me a lot of practice. I'm still not that great like y'all think I am. I mean, I'm pretty creative and shit, but because so I went to school, right? I'm um What is it called? License? But in school, they don't really teach you much. They just teach you enough and barely enough for the state board, which is, I mean, it's important for you to know what they teach you in school too, but everything else you end up learning in the streets or not just, just kidding, not in the streets, but through experience from you doing the work, you know? Um, And sadly, I learned like, my technique was wrong. Like, I felt like I had a lot of bad habits. So, over the years, it has taken me a long time to correct those habits. Like, the way I apply acrylic or I would file or whatever. Um, it's I, I had a hard time relearning because when I started to do nails, acrylic and nail tips were... Our products were completely different, honey. Like, girl, the acrylic was so hella, I guess, chalky. It would dry fast as fuck. 
it, it there was just all kinds of problems with everything we used or whatever or maybe because i was a fucking beginner i don't know and then our nail tips when we started to do nails they were thick as shit they were curved they had all kinds of issues so we i had to learn to do nails curved and now the curved nails are not a thing so now the nails are flat and those are easier to do than curved ones so it's like a whole new sheet it's like these kids in school learning new math like what the fuck like i can't even help my kid with his fucking math because they don't explain it the same anymore like why would you guys do that why yeah so just if you guys are beginners you guys are so lucky you guys get to learn super fast now with youtube with all these people on tiktok sharing their tips and tricks but just don't try to stay away from bad habits learning bad habits by teaching yourself completely um Try to take a class so that they can show you the right way because come common core math. Wait, math is definitely taught different. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, honey. Yeah, my son's teacher told us like they had to relearn it. Like, what the fuck? Why would they do that? What the hell? What the hell? Yeah, so that's why I feel like um I'm a slow ass bitch and I could just never get fast. Because I'm just slow, period. I got licensed in the 90s, so imagine how different this shit is for me, right? Tell me, right? For those of you guys who have been licensed for a long time, tell me um, tell me I'm not right in what I'm saying. Yeah, it's called Common Core, not math changing. Uh-huh. Like Patrick said, math is math. <laughs> or maybe I was just the dumbass that didn't get education. And um, that's why I'm slacking. I don't fucking know. Pat, pat, pat. But definitely, I tried learning on my own, and I did not succeed very well. So then later on, I took classes. And um, so there was this one teacher of mine, my first class ever, who was like, I guess I was good with design. Well, not really, but like bling. So she assumed that I was like experienced or something. And at that point, I think I already had like 10,000 followers um, on Instagram. And when she saw my nails, she was like, oh, did you get them done by so-and-so? Which was, I guess, her teacher in the neighborhood. And I was like, no, I did them myself. They're for my birthday. And she right away was like, then what are you doing here? And I was like, what do you mean? Like, I'm here to learn. I'm never going to forget her face and her answer and the way she treated me after that. And then um, she was like, yeah, what are you here for? And I was like, oh, I'm trying to, like, perfect my cuticle application. And, and then also I had problems with lifting, too. So you guys are not alone. I think it was like my second year into doing nails when I took that class. Like the first year was more like hobby type of vibes. And then the second year was when I started to do nails. So she told me that and I was over here like, huh? honey, what do you mean? I was like, I came to meet you too. So then she was just looking at me the whole time, like all weird. And I'm like, you know, I suck. I just know how to throw diamonds on the nails. That she. I'm here to learn. That was kind of sad. So, yeah, I was like, oh my gosh, que traumada. My teacher was the same way. She was so mean to me, and I think because I knew how to do nails. Yeah, I was like, what the hell? Like, I'm not here to teach no class. 
Yeah, and then I guess because she knew that I was licensed too, she was probably like thinking, I don't know. So when she was talking about like d disinfecting your implements, she asked me like, no, I'm lying. She said the wrong answer that you're so somebody, I guess, was asking how long do you disinfect your implements for or whatever. And it's for 10 minutes that you leave them in the barbicide, right? Unless they changed it, but I highly doubt they did. Um, and she said she had, she was telling them that she would leave it there until she was done doing things and she come get it. And I'm like, girl, that's not the right answer. But I didn't say shit. I was like, I'm the student. I'm the student here. I ain't the teacher. Nah, uh, uh, uh. I had a girl do me like that. She told me I couldn't take her class. What the hell? For real? Uh-uh. Yeah, because if you leave it longer than 10 minutes, your shit's going to start rusting. So, just in case you guys didn't know, for those of you guys who are learning, when you disinfect your products, you got to rinse them, wash them with soap and water and a little manicure brush. And then you have to follow the measurements of your barbicide, which is normally... How to call it? I I want to say it's 36 ounces of water. To I forgot the measurement of the of the little blue liquid. I normally I'm a cheater. I buy the ones that are already measured. So um, you have to measure it properly and leave it in there for 10 minutes. I'm licensed, and Zule welcomed me to her 3D class. I was very nice. I am nice to everyone. Shit, I don't care your skill level or not. Like, hell no. After being traumatized like that from my experience, I was like, I would never want somebody to feel threatened. Or not threatened, but like, I wouldn't want anybody to feel like I don't like them or something like that. Rub the fuck? Uh uh. That's cray cray. Hi, everyone. Hi. What's a good tip for filing? Mines never end up sharp. So, what I like to do is I file. So right now what I'm doing is I'm filing the bottom, the sidewalls to be nice and straight because sometimes there's like a little bump of acrylic or the nail tip will be a little bit bigger, whatever. You're trying to fix the shape. I do a little bit of that first and then I file the surface of the nail, which is what I'm going to be doing next. And then I go in with my electric file and lastly, I do the tip and that will make them like snatched. And uh, one thing that I'm going to tell you is when you're filing, don't file like a weak bitch, like, like you're scared or, and your file is going all kinds of ways. You need to put in your muscle, put your back into that shit. Because if you don't, it's never going to come out straight. You have to put in some muscle in your filing so it could come out straight. Otherwise, it's going to come out curved, round, all kinds of ways. Do you comprendo? Yeah, put your back into it. And if you have a fucked up back, then um, get a on point disc. Get an on point disc for your sh shapey, 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 shapey. Do you prep your files? No, I do not. I just go in ham with my file.
I've never done that before, actually. The first time somebody asked me that, I'm like, what the hell does that mean? I don't cut people with my files anymore. I used to. All right, so now that I filed the sides a little bit, now I'm going to go at the, at the surface. And I do most of my filing with the hand file because it's easier for me. I want to go to school, but the closest one is in Hazleton. I'm not sure where that's at, but girl, if you want it, it doesn't matter how far the school is. So let me tell you, when I went, well, I went to nail school. It wasn't that far. It was close by, but for me, time was it was really hard for me to go to nail school because I had two jobs and I was going to college at the same time while having a, I don't remember how old my son was. He was like three or four or something like that. So I would go on Saturdays to nail school when I could. Um, I'm not sure if you guys could do that anymore, but I went on Saturdays and at the same time, um, when I was able to afford a nail course, I forgot how many days it was. I drove my ass. I forgot how many miles. I think like 30 miles from my house to this class. And mind you, I didn't really know how to drive very well back then. I drove in the rain. I drove in the rain once. I was scared as fuck. I couldn't see shit. And I was like, I'm never coming to this school again. Fuck that. But I was like, bitch, it's not fucking raining, girl. It was far, far from me. And I went. And then, how to call it? Um, I'm grateful I went through that shit because... Imagine? Honey... So I do recommend for you to go to nail school to get your license, at least get your license, you know, like even if you ain't going to learn shit. I did put my nail crooked, huh? Like, honey, your finger go that way. Like, I know my finger go that way, but I try to fix it. <laughs> like, my day's been okay. Thank you for asking. Now your finger, uh-huh, it go that way, honey. And then now I drive even farther to work. When I go to work to do nails, I drive 80 miles, bitches. That ain't no flex or nothing like that. Like, I wish I could go less far. But where I'm he what I'm trying to say is, like, when you really want to do something, you will find a way. Not an excuse. Okay. Kind of like me working out. I've been working out every day. Well, I started working out and I'm trying to do it every day. I just took a break the other day because I was fucking sore. But I only do it for like 15 minutes because I get tired. And then my hubby be like, I'm going to go work you out. Like, I'm going to watch you because you're probably doing it wrong. And then I'm like, no, because then I'm going to quit. And I'm like, at least I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm trying. Why don't you look for something close to you? Because I am already used to my clients. I've had my clients that I have right now for years. Um, for at least four years or a little bit more on my clients that I have right now. I don't really take a lot of new clients. It's rare. But on my clients that I have, I had them for five years, at least seven years or since I started. So if I move, they're not going to be able to follow me like the drive is far. And 
I guess you can say I'm comfortable. Do the grow with Joe Walks on YouTube. Or at least check her out. Okay, send it to me. Hi, Sylvia. Te la pasas en la tienda, amiga. Que andamos comprando. So this now I left a little fucking dip right here. That's what I'm trying to file right now. Um, the little net, I put it in the nail and then I encapsulated it. You know I cook a lot. Me, I know. One day I will come to Texas and I'm going to come be like, Sylvia, I need some shrimp caldo. I want caldo de camarón, por favor. And they're going to be like, bitch, pues ve a la tienda. Like, okay, okay. I don't know how to make that shit, so. There's always one now that's always the lumpiest. Like, the Humpty Dumpty, and is this one. This one. Humpty Dumpty. I'm gonna make Vietnamese. Ooh. Zam, girl, you a chef. You a whole chef. I got a spare room for you and hubby. Okay, honey. Oh, but I'll get new clients. Yeah, I know, but I don't really like to meet new people sometimes. I'm a weirdo. Like, I like to meet new clients, but at the same time, I don't. Only because I have to reteach them the way I work. And then I got to, how to call it, um... Meet new energies and it's like, do I really want to do that? Do I really want to do that? You know how long it took me to train the ones I already have? Ready for these kids to go to bed, Zule. Hello. La malla negra lo pegó con glue de uñas. No, Marta. La pegué nomás con un poquito acrílico cristalino. Yeah, I hate new energies. Like... That's why I don't really take new clients because it's kind of weird. Like I be having people hella interviewing me sometimes when I'm doing their nails and I'm like, ma'am, mm, you want my social security too? While you at it or what? Like this not... This is not cool no more. This is not cool. This is not a fun appointment. This feels more like a job interview. I hate taking your clients too. Yeah, I, I think we just like to be comfortable with our regulars. Well, the, the, what I mean by training my clients is I hate when people play with my time. I hate that shit. That's the one thing you do not do to me. You do not have me waiting. Like, if your appointment is at 1, you better fucking be here at 1. If you're going to be late, you better have texted me at least 10 minutes ago to let me know. Not one minute ago or not at all or whatever. Like, mm-mm. So, back in the day... I had clients who would be like, oh, I'm going to be late. And it was like, let's just say her appointment was at 9 in the morning. It was really like 9, 10. And she was like, oh, I'm going to be late. Like, girl, you already late. What do you mean? Or like, it was 9 a.m. I'm over here waiting for her. And she tells me like, oh, I'm going to be late. Um, and I'm like, okay, you knew that a long time ago. You have a GPS. Why did you not say nothing sooner? I could have gone to McDonald's. Hello. Um, so I would cancel their appointment. And some of them won't show up. And I would have already left. And then they're like, can I still come? And I'm like, girl, I've been gone. The fuck? So little by little, I taught them that they couldn't do that. And not to be messed up. But it's like you need to take people's time fucking serious. Because that's fucked up. You know, like communication is key. 
Yeah, and I remember a few of them got fucking mad at me, like, fucking bitch, fucking left her. Da, 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 da. But best believe they never fucking did that again. And I was like, look, I'm not just... I told a few of them because they become kind of like a friend and they want to do whatever they want. But I was like, no, if you're going to be late, like it's cool. Shit happens. But at least let me know. Let a, a girl know because I could be hungry as fuck. I haven't ate because I've been working. I could have gone to get a motherfucking lunch. You know? What do you do when a client is trying to tell you how to design a nail when they have no clue? Um, what do you mean? Like, she's telling you to do this mesh type of thing, but sh she doesn't know how to do nails? Or what? Alright, so let me get my electric file. Basically telling you how to do your job. No, you do not allow that. Do not ever let somebody tell you how to do your job. I let the, I did that a few times. Oh shit, hold on. And then no, not the business. So you'd be like, excuse me, can you let me do my job, please? Like, is are she a nail tech? I hope she ain't no fucking nail tech. My best. My most selling product is definitely my bling adhesive, my monomer, my prep trio. Um, what else? My top coat, my cluster gel, and my my brushes. And of course the acrylic. But those will be the top. If I would say top 10, those are definitely in the top 10 along with um, my files. Do you do your mom's nails? No, ma'am. She does not like nails. Yeah, so this bit is one of my new little favorites now because... Um, it allows me to get into the cuticles real good with really long nail like these, you know, because of the shaft is a little bit longer. I could get in there with the other one. I could get in there as well, but I struggle a little bit more. And if you guys are scared to cut people, this one is, is really soft. As you can see, it's like a little ball, like a little, um, a little pear. So it does not cut. I've never cut myself ever. And I'm kind of crazy. <sighs> I'm kind of cray cray. I cut myself all the time. I'm a little cray cray. What's the most frustrating thing to do with long nails? Um, Definitely some buttons. Today, oh my God, how I struggled. How I struggle to put my my bra on my what is it called the exercise ones? What are the exercise ones called? Oh yes, this bit is back in stock. It's under cuticle bit. It's the pair. Um, yeah, the sports bra. So I bought this sports bra in Old Navy, and it has like a zipper in the front. And, bitch, I could not fucking pull that shit up. I'm like, what the fuck? It was like a faha, but for my titties, I'm like, yo, I know these boobs are huge, but damn. The bra fits. <laughs> Hold on, y'all, singing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. And I called my hubby over and I was like, can you help me? I need help. And he couldn't do it either. I was like, oh my gosh. I need a bigger fucking bra then. I do my mom's and she always complains that she stresses me out. And I don't charge her. Oh my God. Yes, girl. 
Your family is always going to be the worst. Like, my mom, actually, the first time I ever did her nails, um, we got in a fight. Because she chose, she chose the nails. And then at the end, she was like, I didn't choose that. You're doing whatever you want on me. And da -da 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 -da. that's the one thing about my family, that they do not like the same things that I like. So it's kind of hard. My mom and my sister are basic bitches. They like red nails, simple shit, nothing crazy, no bling, no flitter, no nothing. So I'd rather not... I'd rather not do the nail. And I'm like, uh, uh, uh. Like, if I don't like the nails I'm doing, I'd rather not do them. Especially if they're free. Like, I don't give a fuck. That's why I got my doll. I could give her all the bling in the world. <sighs> like, don't get me wrong. I do like simple nails sometimes, but not really. Not really, not really. Oh, yeah, so I didn't tell you guys the story how huh? my mom. So she picked a red color. No, actually, I used to have an album before with pictures of designs. And so she picked one that was red with one silver nail. And then it had a flower on it, the, on the ring finger. And the silver nail obviously was glitter. So I did all the solid nails first. And I was like, oh, I'm going to leave that one blank because... It's a different color, right? And then because it was glitter, it was going to go all over and shit. So, she let me do that or whatever. And once I get to the ring finger, she was like, I put the, the color, the silver. And she's like, what are you doing? Take this color off. I don't like it. And I was like, what the fuck? And how to call it? Um... She was like, I didn't choose that. And I was like, yes, you fucking did. Look at the picture. And she's like, yeah, I said I wanted that. But I never said I wanted the glitter. So I was like, bitch, you just fucking said you wanted it like that, right? And then um, my mom was like, no, take it off. And I was like, hell no, I ain't going to fucking take shit off. And then she's like, well, I'm not going to let you finish my nails. I'm like, all right, well, you're going to fucking stay like that. So, I think I still needed to encapsulate them or whatever. Or maybe I had already done one hand. I don't remember. But she was like, take it off. And I'm like, nope. And I'm like, you're the worst fucking client ever. But I was like, how the fuck are you going to come tell me do that? Pointing at the picture. And not communicate you don't want glitter. Like, you should have said, why is the ring finger not red also? So, I was like, No. I left her as like that. And then she was like, and then she was like, aren't you going to fix them? At least shape them. And I'm like, no, you could do that shit yourself. And she got her little file and she started fighting them. And I never did her nails again. Until like last year, I think, or maybe this year. I don't remember when I did her nails, but she was not picky this time. And I was like, uh, uh, uh. So, yeah. I don't do my mom's nails. You cut her nails off. No, nah, hell no, I didn't cut them off. She left them on. How do I gain clientele that likes all the bling and nail designs? I'm tired of plain nails. Well, Susie, it's kind of hard because... I feel like people go through stages. Um, they start out cray cray. And as they grow older, they like more basic stuff. And then also, how to call it? If you don't wear crazy nails, 
how are you going to attract the crazy girls, you know? Another thing is if you start to raise your prices a little higher, they're going to start getting more simple and more simple. Telling you from experience. Because back in the day, I used to do crazy nails, but I always gave away my work just to do them. Like, I would do all kinds of bling and different designs and whatever. And I would charge very little. Like, I wouldn't even really charge for the bling. You guys know Swarovski is expensive. It always has been. So I was like, I'll just charge them to barely even cover the bling. But I wouldn't charge them like the extra five cents or dollar per bling now or whatever. And I was like, hell no, well, if I'm going to be regalando me art, well, might as well make the base of the acrylic, like the full set more expensive, you know? Um, so I raised my price and little by little, they start getting less and less things on their nails. And I'm like, damn, that's sad, but at least you get paid, you know? What did you do on her this time? Who? So if you want crazy nails to do crazy nails, it's best to give them like a little deal, like a little um, freestyle special or something. Yeah, so true. My crazy nails attract a lot of attention from girls that like the same. Mm-hmm. Yep, so if you guys want to track bling bling lovers, you need to wear that bling bling. If you want to track señoras, then wear señora nail. Feels like I've been watching this live forever. Girl, it's only been an hour and a half. We're about to get to the best part right now. I won't be able to watch it till the end. Aw, why not, girl? Oh, I have to get up at 5? Oh, hell no. I would have been sleeping. We about to get to the best part, girl. How are you going to miss it? I know I need to hurry up because I need to be done by, like, no later than 9. I'm loving the mesh. Your nails look like a box of jewels. Thank you, girl. Oh, shit. I still need it. Why am I putting it away? Yeah, I'll probably put this video up like in two weeks or so. Because I'm backed up with all my nail videos that I have already. <sighs> Pre-recorded. So, I'm going to be using my on-point disc now. What did you end up doing on your mom this time? Oh, I gave her an emerald set. Oh, shit. Hold on. I gave her an emerald set. Oh, shit. What the fuck happened? Did I fucking break my shit? <laughs> Damn, my nails are long as fuck.
it's like a little car you know let me double check i always file my nails crooked always a little sideways you know fuck it thug life sorry guys i am fully focused on my nail here i will look at the comments right now oh my god it looks so beautiful my airplane is landing um positive vibes only yes positive vibes only no negativity honey thank you chrissy i'm like hold on no little piece oh hell no your one-year-old drop your dampen dish Ay, ay, ay. Did you hit him, though? La hijo de tu pinche mandarina. Que vergas hiciste. It sounds like a what? Like a fly? Oh, fuck. Hold on. I'm trying to file this stupid ring finger. Always struggle because it's crooked already. You know, naturally crooked. My finger is naturally crooked, so. All right, guys, it's time. It's time to, oh, fuck, I just scratched my face. These nails are too long for me. It's time to do, 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 do. Let me get my buffer out. Let me just buff my nails. It's time for Rafiki. Hello, hello. Hello, Ethan. Oh, hell no, your lamp gave up. It's a bling o'clock. Naye, 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 naye. It's a como la flor time. Como la flor. Rafiki, when he says it's time. Yeah, we about to do some flower power up in here. Because y'all. Y'all saw my costume. It has flowers. Flower, flower, flower. Hold on, let me finish. Let me buff this one a little bit more. Mm-hmm, the red flowers I've been posting. Ready or not, here they come. Um, yes, hold on, Portia, I'll show you again. Well, this is not the full costume, but it's my inspo. Like, so I'm going to be her with the little flowers on my head, and I'm going to paint my face. I'm going to try to look like that all cute, and I'm going to put bling bling. And I have myself a black dress. All right, let me get my little wipes. Damn, are my nails too long for me? Are they too long, honey? I'm going to be a walking toxica. Ma'am, your nails are a little too long. Can't function here. Oh my gosh, Becky. Your nail is crooked. 
I love the files and buffers. They made filing so easy in class. Yes. If you guys haven't tried our buffers or files, what are you waiting for? So here's the nails. All right, I'm going to do... Where's my lamp? I'm excited. All right, everyone, pay attention. If you guys have not been paying attention, it's time. All right, so we're going to need our little palette. I'm going to need my brush. Where are you, my brush? Where are you? Here you are, my brush. We're going to need our little brush, our liner brush. All right, so I'm going to do... Oh, I need to do this one first. Okay, I'm going to be using my No Wipe Painting Gel. Um, you know what? No, I'm not going to use that one. I'm just going to use my regular, my regular black gel polish, which is number 20. Zule, how are your bling nails treating you? Not too bad, actually. Not too bad. I got used to them already. All right, let me get my liner brush, my other one. So since I'm going to do a French on one of them, I need my big liner brush. All right, this one. All right, guys, are you guys excited? Maybe I should zoom you guys in. What the fuck? How come I can't zoom in? Why? <sighs> Stupid phone. Zoom in. What the hell? It's not letting me zoom in. I'm sorry. I, I don't know if I zoomed in a little or not, but... Alright, so this one is going to be like a whole little side action. I'm going to do like that much. And the rest, I'm going to fill it in with the black gel. So just in case you guys are wondering, like, what the fuck's the difference between black painting gel and black gel polish? Um, the black gel polish is more thin and sometimes a little bit more translucent than painting gel. But right now the painting gel, since it's a little thicker, it's kind of cold. So it would be a little hard for me to paint with because it's thick, you know. That's why I went ahead and, and just did black gel. And sometimes black gel polish... Sometimes black gel polish, it like smears a little bit. Like, I don't know if you guys know what I mean. But like on a nail, it kind of like spreads out. And that ain't the business. So, that's why I wanted to use it. But, not, not for what I'm doing today. So, I'm just going to put in this. Yeah, it bleeds. Correct. That's what I meant to say. So, I'm just going to paint... Like that. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just a little spot. I'm put that in the in the lamp real quick to cure. Meanwhile, I'm gonna drink some coffee shito. And then another another reason is because this one's a no wipe, so it doesn't stay tacky. I've been dealing with that with all my Halloween nails. Oh no, girl. You need some painting gel, honey. Black painting gel. Yeah, so I'm a messy ass bitch with gel. Like, not purposely. I just get messy for some reason. Gel polish. It bleeds sometimes on your nail. So, how do you call it? Um, Normally, painting gel is the way to go when you're drawing or doing something. So, it doesn't, like, bleed. Alright, so we gotta cure this nail fully. And whenever you're doing thumbs, put them up by themselves like this so that they cure all the way. Cause it 
because you know you guys get lint on your gel it's a pain in your ass let me see if i could zoom in now nope doesn't let me zoom in by nut phone by nut all right so that's the black one and then i'm gonna do this one also i'm gonna do a frenchie Y'all already know I'm becoming a Frenchie lover. It's like a love and hate relationship. But I shall be good at this. I was going to do the whole nail in these, this style flowers. But then I was like, nah. I'll just do partial. I'm not going to do it as deep this time, actually, because I want a lot of flower. I want a lot of flower. That's still kind of deep, huh? Maybe less. So normally I try to guide myself on how deep I want my French by making a line like that. Ooh, Frenchy. Yeah. Alrighty, next I am just going to fill it in with the same brush because I don't want to be changing brushes right now. It's like Zule's on a, on a clock a timer today. I'm supposed to watch TV with my child. We're supposed to watch all kinds of movies. So I'm trying to paint as much as I can, fill it in, um, and then right now I'm going to go in with my liner brush because I don't want to fuck up my fringe because, you know, when I do lay be fucking shit up all the time. So, yes, I'm a lefty. Excuse me. Um, today we've been watching different, different movies. We've been watching Halloween and different. Yesterday we watched Sonic, the second one. That show was pretty cool. And then the day before we watched Chucky. And today we're going to watch Clifford. All right, so I'm just going to go in a little bit here. Okay, Zule. Okay, Senora. All right, hold on. Let me a little bit here on the side. All right, Miss French. I feel like I'm so used to the deep ones, but this will do. This will do. Let me take off any excess. Now cure it again, Zule. And I'm only going to put one coat because it has pretty good coverage. And now, let me get my cap. Where the fuck did I leave my cap? Oh, <laughs> I'm so stupid. It's right here. All right, next, I'm going to need white gel polish. I'm going to use number 21. Girl, I am not a Frenchie queen, but I'm working there. I'm working to making French my bitch. Because if you guys have been here for a while, you guys know I st 
struggled with Frenchies, but I have been um I have been working on them every so often. My gels are 15 cookies. Here comes the roses. Yes, girl. So I'm going to be using my blooming gel for the flowers. Girl, you're up there, true Mexican. I'm also going to be using my white gel and my two-in-one liner brush. For this, I'm going to use a small side. So, let me make sure that my brush is um, not stiff. Because I'm going to need it to be curling. All right, hold on. Let me get a little bit of acetone. So I could clean my brush because it's oh, wait. Oh, wrong way. It's a little stiff. Who wants a shot? Who wants a shot of acetone? Alrighty. Hello, Dory. All right, so now that I put on acetone, let me get some regular top coat. Why I go in the room as a video playing? Girl, who's watching me? Who is watching me? <laughs> is your husband watching? I'm going to put a little bit of top coat on here. Do you oil your brushes? Never. I never put no oil on my brushes. Never tried that before. All I do is roll them in top coat. All right. Zule, you mind if I see your bling hand? Yes. Oh, it's full of dust right now. So I'm going to go in with my... Blooming gel and literally just put it on the black part. Oh shit, I put I got too much. Make sure whenever you guys are using blooming gel not to put too much because it will run to the edges. Blooming gel is your best friend, honey. So, because it's clear, it's kind of hard to see. Like, did I put something already? Did I do that? Did I do that? And I'm going to try to remove any excess because, you know, like I said, you don't want to put too much because then it comes to the side. All righty, guys. Now time for the flower. We're going to use the... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. My lamp is falling. We're going to use the white gel to start drawing. And y'all already know I'm not very good at drawing, but I could do this. So literally just kind of visualize a flower, like a little rose. Don't put too much gel, but don't put too little either. And then just start drawing it. But you have to kind of like work a little bit fast because this shit will start spreading, honey. Like, come on, bitch, it's a race. And from what I heard, some blooming gels spread faster than others. This one doesn't spread that fast, but it does. So see, it's starting to come to life. I'm going to start doing another one over here. And if for whatever reason your gel does smudge to the side, it's okay. You can always clean it up. Sometimes las flores parecen panochas abiertas, but hey, that's where they get the como la flor. So 
Sorry, guys, I can't look up right now. I am trying to beat my blooming gel from blooming everywhere. All right, so I have enough space for a small one here, another little one. Like, oh my God, Becky, look at her nails. So check it out. There is my flowers, okay? Again, I'm going to try to take off any excess. So that's the flowers right there. Cure those motherfuckers pronto. <sighs> Cure those bitches. Cure those motherfuckers. I need to get your blooming job because this jealous one, I want to stab it. <laughs> Yeah, everybody's, from what I heard, different brands work differently. Um, I've never tried another another one, so I wouldn't know, but I've heard that some bloom hella fast. Like, what the hell? <clears throat> I mean, this one I feel kind of blooms fast, but not too, too fast where you can't work, you know? Wait. Trust the process, guys. If you think this was already looks good, wait till you see that one. I'm gonna shake little. Make sure that you dry it really good, all right? All right, I'm gonna get ready for my next one. Alright, I'm gonna do my fringe. I always care for 90 seconds. I don't trust 60 seconds. Just in case, you never know. Alrighty. Again, remove any excess. Remove the excess. Alrighty, let's do this again. So I'm gonna do this one here. I'm sorry if I don't talk, but this requires total concentration from Zule because the bitch can draw. So, you know, I used to attempt to draw these stupid flowers without blooming gel years ago. So I think that's why it's kind of easy for me. I wish I'm going to saliva. Se me salió la saliva la verga. I'm going to do a big one here. El salivón se me salió. And then I'll do one here. Like just imagine un, un panachón ahí. Bien abierto. Una concha, una... Something. I'm eating a chicle. I but whenever I chew gum, like my mouth gets like hella watery, like so good, like mmm. Un chiclito bien bueno. Like oh my gosh, so juicy the gum. You know, you know. And then I'll do a little one here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
You just have to practice and then it'll get easier and easier. Look at how pretty. Oh my God, so pretty. All right, hold on to me. Sorry if I scared anybody. I'm not sure if I put blooming gel on this side because it ain't, ain't blooming. Fuck it, I'll just leave it like that. Cure that bitch fast, 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 fast. That does kind of look airbrush, huh? All right, next I'm gonna get my gel 122. It's a nice deep red. Fuck, I can't open it. I've tried it with different colors, and by far, by far, red just makes the design look really nice. I tried it with other ones and it doesn't look as nice. Or right, let me throw my chicle away because se me sale la baba. I need to order from your website, my friend from South Texas, recommending your glue. Oh, yes, girl. Come try it. You won't go back to whatever you're using now. Did you wipe the sticky before you put the blooming gel? No. I didn't wipe nothing. I'm so excited. It's so pretty. Come on, lamp. Let me do the nail already. Do the do. Ugh, I hate waiting. This is why I don't like to do gel because I hate waiting. But I have to cure it because I don't want it to wrinkle and I have to do it again. And not the business. Not the business. All right, it's been a minute already. All right, wait, hold on. This were the were the. Where the fucking beauty comes through. Check it out. Check it out. Don't blink. All right. Check it out. You could do a bright red or a dark red. Whatever you like. But oh my God, Becky. Um, I've done both. They both look nice. But I had to compare what color were my flowers and things like that. And that's why I decided to go deep. Like a deep red. They look like the little jelly ones. Jelly, jelly, jelly. Nee, 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 nee. Ooh. So this is a deep jelly color. Um, it has to be a jelly. Otherwise, it will not be transparent. So I'm trying to apply thin. Because I'm going to do another coat right now. Wow. Look at it. Can you guys see? Let me do this one too while I'm at it. Wow, wow, the whole perro. Wow. Wow, wow. Wow, wow. Woof, woof. La vaca, moo. La vaca, moo. I get crazy with my gel, guys. I be a sloppy hoe. I'm not very good at the paint job. So remove the excess because then you're going to have to file it or something. Mm, hold on. Let me clean um on the Frenchie because Felicia, we don't want that. All right, cure that. Oh my God, it's looking so cute. It 
if you guys missed how I did the flowers, you're gonna have to catch it on YouTube. Um, or I'll make a quick little minute tutorial. Oh, my neck hurts. Patrick! Did you go shower already? Damn, you fast. Damn, he really went to shower. I need to hurry the fuck up. All right, so next we're going to add a few little touches. I'm going to get a little bit of white gel. All right, now, skier, skier, skier. No se baño bien. Just kidding. <laughs> I sent him to shower a long time ago. I told him um, so that we could watch a movie, but oh my gosh. <laughs> we normally send him to sleep at 10, so I have one more hour to finish this. I love your white gel by far the best. Yes, honey. And if you haven't tried the black one, girl. All right, so let's let's make these. If you think this looks cute already, girl, we're about to hype these up. So I'm going to add a little line in the petal. Um, so pretty much I'm just trying to outline the inner part of each petal. All right. Right now you guys are going to be like, what the flying fuck are you doing, Zule? That looks... That does not look cute. Like you just fucked it up. And then I kind of try to wiggle it here and there. Wiggle it. Wiggle it. Alright, there's one panel. Yeah, y'all gotta trust the process. The first time I did this, I was like, what the fuck, Zule? You just fucked up your fucking rose. But honey, wait till we add another layer of the red. You can add to just one petal if you want, or two, whatever, whatever you, whatever you, whatever. You do, it look good. I need the black acrylic and the red gel. Girlfriend, get it all. All right. Oh, shit. I have one more over here. I know the fucking camera does be focusing on the gems, huh? On the fucking bling hand. It did that to me when I was recording yesterday. Like, you fucking bling now. Sorry. Hopefully, I get a better view for you right now on the other finger all right so i'll be looking like what the flying fuck is that all right this one should be better let me try to get right here Pinche uñota se mete la cámara chingao. I'm sorry, guys. I hope you guys can see what the fuck I'm doing without this big ass bling getting in the way. I'm just trying to outline each petal, the inner part. And then this one is my favorite. Queremos flor, 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 flor. Queremos una como la flor. So there's going to be promo for la como la flor. If you guys haven't tried one, go get one.
if you want to twitch at night. One, one more petal. Oh, fuck. I have another flower over here. Damn it. I know so much detail. And for somebody who can't draw, girl, don't worry. I'm telling you this design is simple. It's cinchy. Cinchy. All right. So take a quick look. Oh, shit. Let me zoom it in. I have to move my finger up because pinche camera mamona. This is what it's looking like right now. With the little lines. Parecen panochitas abiertas. All right. Cure that bitch. And then we're going to do one more coat. We're going to do one more coat of the red. Take my money. Andale, Marita. Le agarra el gel. Excuse me. I only have 12 left of these. So if you guys want to recreate it or whatever, there's only 12 of those left. I checked before I came on here. I was like, do I even have any more before I over here teasing y'all? It's so hard for me to get to a line that thin. Mm. I used to say the same thing, but this liner brush really, really does the job. I used to think that you needed to trim the hairs or whatever to get them, but this is my BFF. Um, Daisy, tomorrow I'll post the finished look. Is that the cat eye gel? No, it's a, it's a dark jelly color. It's a deep red. When are you releasing the... Zule doesn't... Zule doesn't to cost work the same as Blooming Gel? Top coat? Um, I don't know. I've never tried that before, but you can try it. What size is that? Once my paycheck comes in, I'm heading to the... What size? What, are, what do you mean? Oh, the brush. It's a two-in-one -one liner brush. I've never tried top coat. Oh, the mystery boxes. Um, Sometime in the end of November. So top coat doesn't expand the gel like that. But, I mean, you could probably try it to see if it works. I know people use top coat to do marbles and stuff, so I wouldn't know if it does the same for the flowers. Ooh, so pretty, so pretty. So check it out. Look what the lines do. It gives like a whole other little effect. Super, super pretty. Wow. Love it. Wow. I'm obsessed. My mom's going to love these. She's going to be like, oh my God, que bonitas. I may have to file my nail a little bit because, girl, after all these layers of gel, it was like, honey, I need to make this lemon. Wow. Check it out. All right, now put that in the lamp. You need to post this one. I sure am. I post all my videos for the most part on my YouTube channel. So if you guys be watching my YouTube channel, please like the video and comment because yesterday I posted a video and I was like, what the hell? Y'all, y'all all be better watching that shit in a TV because... Those likes were not adding up to the views. I was like, mm, hell no. <laughs> hell no, followers. Hit the fucking like. Hit the fucking like. 
That'd be me when my mom might be showing her pics of the sets I just created. I'm glad they went on your hand and not the fake one. For real. I put it on a fake hand last time. I'm like, what the hell? What the hell? I'm like, I'm going to need to go back to my YouTube and start threatening my followers. That's the only way they like and comment. Oh, I need a massage. I'm going to recreate the emerald ones when I go to the ballet. To the ballet. Your video playing in my room right now. I know. Who was it? Somebody sent me um in our subscriber chat that they were watching my video. And I'm like, but did you like it? I zoomed in and they didn't have a like. I'm like, girl, did you like it though? <laughs> I mean, I don't think the likes do shit for us. Like on YouTube for real. But... Or anywhere, but it, it motivates the content creator or whoever's making content. Like, keep doing a good job. <sighs> so I'll be like, so sad. You guys didn't like my shit? That's fucked up. That's fucked up. I always like everybody's stuff. Whenever it crosses my my path, I hit the like. I hit the like all the time. Even people I don't know. I may not always comment on people's posts. Because I don't know what to say. Like I'm not very good with work, words and stuff. But I always like everybody's stuff. Alright. So I'm going to go ahead and put top coat on these. Because they are tacky. The little... The little, little, little. Excuse me. So I'm put top coat. Um, everything that I'm using today, you can find it on my website. The gel number is one twenty two. One hundred twenty two. Yeah, I try to comment, and if you guys ever comment and I don't respond, I'm sorry. They just got too many things, like too many comments. I try to comment, go back to my post the same day, but if it's after the day or whatever, uh, yeah, it's a little hard for me to go back and look. My husband gets mad. He'll be like, what are you doing? I'm like, reading my comments. He's like, don't read them. You're not supposed to read your comments. I'm like, what? I like to read my comments. All right. So I'm going to put top coat. And then I'm going to crisp up my nail a little bit. Um, in a little while. Because the blooming gel did leave me a little lumpy dumpty. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. I don't know. I guess because he thinks people leave negative stuff. You know, like that's how people get all depressed and shit when they read negative stuff. But for the most part, I don't have negative comments. I think he's just trying to look out for me. Like, um, I don't know if you guys know what I mean. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Alright, so let me cure that in the lamp. Girl, tell him, Zule, can you please bring your prep trio to the pop-up? Oh, yes, I am. I am, I am, I am. Alright, so I am going to do a little bit of 3D on my index finger it's it's planned a planned 3d hopefully i could get through that one fast i have 40 minutes get a little bit of acetone throws oh wait i put too much 
Yeah, we get it, but most of the time it's positive comments. Mm-hmm. Yes, for the most part, I get positive comments. If I get a negative one, I'll be like, bitch. I respond to them sometimes like the fuck whore. So I'm going to be using my pure red. Pure red and the black acrylic. What's your mystery box? I don't have mystery boxes yet. They will probably be available until the end of the end of um November. Can you tell us a little bit about them? So pretty much a mystery box, you get to choose. Normally I do about four different ones. You see my comments, Elaine? No. Put it again. Um, I do at least four. And yes, like Lori said, it's a mystery. You don't know what you're going to get. But how to call it? Um, so let's just say one of them is 50 cookies. Like Let's just say the cheapest one is 50 cookies. You, pay, you will pick your 50 cookie one. And then you get like $75 worth of product. But you don't know and you cannot choose what you want. So it's like a surprise. Cookies is money. Cookies is money. Something ain't adding up. Can I pre-order the mystery box before I spend my cookies on the rest of your products? Um, I wish, but I will forget you bought one. Oh, makes sense. She might not start off as your style, but before long, bam, you as a late girl for real. Mm -hmm. Like Lori, she didn't like orange like a month ago. And look at her nails. Look at her nails. What color they are. So I'm going to do some roses, roses. Nee, 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 nee. Rosie, Rosie. I am using a number six Kalinsky brush. Normally when I do roses, I do number six Kalinsky brush. Yeah, I influence. I influence my followers to try new stuff. That's why I really, really like doing the scoops. For those of you guys who miss the scoops um, and don't know what the hell that is, pretty much the mystery box is similar. The only difference is a mystery box has more product in it. And is there's a variety, not just like a specific thing. Well, scoops also had a variety, but they were you would buy a scoop of a certain product that you wanted. Okay. Will boxes include brushes? Um, yes. I'm gonna have I can't promise you every box is gonna have a brush. Every box is going to be different. I am going to um make I'm going to try to make every single box different so there's not two that are the same. I'm going to put brush, acrylics, gels, like a little bit of everything I'll try to mix in the boxes. So that way you get to try different stuff. Things you never really would think you would really use, you know? And then I always teach you guys how to use all my products. For the most part, I feel like I've made a video in almost everything that I own. Or I'm I'm headed that way, you know? So 
So I'm going to have roses on my my costume. So that's why I wanted to have 3D ones as well. Because why not? They're going to look so cute. I'm not sure if the, the, do you guys see this dark? Like the, my video? Or is it because the nail's black? Like. No? Love how the red is bouncing off the black. No, it looks good to me. Okay, maybe it's my stupid settings on my phone. That I'm watching, like the background looks kind of dark too. So normally when I do roses, I I don't add this many petals, but I need them to be puffy, like the ones I'm gonna have on my head. Hello, Zule. Hello. Um, the jelly. Um, gel is number uh, 122. Bye bye, Becky. Did she fucking come again? How many profiles that Becky have? Hello, hello, hello. This nail is coming out so cute. No, different lady. They all Becky's to me now. Oh, <laughs> I was like, damn, that girl came back. The fuck? Alrighty, the little center of my flower. So there's one. Oh shit, my flower fell. I mean my brush. My brush. Watching these videos make me want to practice and do nails for people and make cookies. <laughs> that sounds kind of funny, but yes, girl, do it, do it, do it, do it. It's fun. Well, it's not always fun. Let's just put it that way, but it is fun. Mostly. There's more good than bad days. I'm going to do a big ass fucking flower right there. <sighs> Does anybody have a question so that I could like yappy yappy while I do the flower? I definitely put this fucking nail hella sideway. I use your number four and it's amazing, Zule. Oh yes, that one is also good. So if you guys don't have a number six, that number four is a good size brush too for roses. Cuenta un chiste. Bish, I don't know what chiste is. Let me remember one. The color is apparently off the bat. Mm, glad you like it. Have you tried gel nails? Gel extensions? Yes. Gel extensions I have. Do you put the cluster gel in the fridge? No. Can we get a mystery box at the pop-up? That's a good one. But I don't think so because I'm not going to have them ready. How do I prevent my acrylic from building up in the middle of your brush? You need to clean it often. Like pretty much place the acrylic bead and clean it right away. Right away, honey. 
because if you don't it's gonna keep building up and draining your bristles so I don't know if you guys can see, but every time that I bring my brush down, whether it's a 3D brush or a um, sculpting brush, you always clean it. Clean it in the napkin and then dip it in your monomer if you need more. Talk us through the 3D flower process, tips and tricks. Okay, so... Um, normally for the 3D, you know that the petal is ready when it is um, losing its shine. So that's something kind of important to to learn because if you try to press it while it's not ready, like right here, my little bead is starting to get shiny, like it's getting nice and soft. So it's time to put it down. If I were to put it down before that, then every time I would press, it would come back to the ball form. So, just give it time. 3D is all about patience. Patience. You want to press it when it's already drying. And then you just move your... Press it down and the petal will move. And then you could um, put as many petals as you want, wherever you want. There's no right or wrong way to do a flower. What are you going to be for Halloween? I'm going to be a Katrina, like a Day of the Dead girl. And then I just like to add more and more petals until I'm happy. So as you can see, I'm just holding the little petal, the bead here in my brush a couple seconds so that it starts to dry before I put it down. Because um, once I start, like once I put it down, I immediately want to fucking pick, pick at it. I don't know why, but I do that. Like, I'm impatient as shit. So, that's why I hold them in my brush all the time. How do I keep from using too much monomer, but keeping monomer clean still? Um, well, first of all, don't use a really big dampen dish. If your dampen dish is super big, don't fill it up all the way because it's going to get dirty eventually. I used to struggle with blink placement. Me too, girl. I didn't know where the fuck to put my blink before, but everything just takes its practice. The more you do it, the more you'll have an eye for it. Same as flowers, bling, shaping, everything. I used to think my shaping was on fleek, and it wasn't. It was not. Do you have any brush sets? Martha, I do. I have the pink box. Um, It's called the Zule Ultimate Brush Box or something like that. It comes with a sculpting brush, liner brushes, 3D brushes. Um, Even my favorite dotting tool is in there. Um, I forgot what else is in there. I'm more of a hand-painted art person, but I love bling. I am trying to get into drawing. You do a really good job manicure it. What's your real name? What's your real name, girl? I haven't I don't think I asked you before. I wipe consistently and do good, but I end up using a ton of monomer. Um if if you have a big brush, that could be it. Do you remember how many cookies it is? Um, from the top of my head, I want to say it's like 130 cookies, I believe. Andrea. Ah, okay, Andrea. All right, right now we're going to do one more rose and then I'm going to add some leaves, which is going to tie this in to my design. I use a 14. Yeah, so the bigger the brush, the more monomer your brush will drink. So bigger brushes do take up a lot of monomer. Maybe try try using a smaller brush. That's why, too, I don't really like to do... um. I don't like to use a big brush because I feel like it just absorbs all my monomer. And then I could barely control the stupid brush anyway with all that monomer. Um, a lot of people struggle with roses. Like whenever I have 3D classes, 
That's like the one fucking flower that everybody. Sorry, my stupid phone design. Um, everybody always struggles with the rose, but I feel like it's one of the easiest ones because um, every rose is always different. So you could make a small one, a three petal one, a four petal one, a multi petal. All you want to start off is with a big round blob at the bottom. Literally like that. Like it doesn't even look like a rose yet. And then the more petals you put in, the more of a rose shape it will start. Like it will start to get its shape, you know. And then lastly, you do the little button, the little... I wonder why I can't zoom in today. You do the little bud, the button, like a little donut. Oh fuck, wrong way. Do you have did have you ever had a student that was just unteachable? Um I don't wanna say unteachable because I only had them for one day. So whenever you have a class, so whenever you have a class or whenever I've had a class, it's only been like a one day thing. I've never had like multiple day sessions. So I would see them more than once or actually, yeah, but it was a different topic. Like I did once acrylic, another day was nail art, but that doesn't count. Um... So I did have a student recently who I would tell her how to do something. And it's like it would go through one ear and go out the other. Like she was not listening. And I'm over here like, girl, I just told you not to do that. Or she tried to do her own thing. And I'm like, Felicia, what the fuck? Now I feel like a high school teacher. You know where they tell you to do something and you're doing your own shit. But I was like, girl, like years ago, I want to say five years ago, I uh, taught a class and one of the girls was doing like a whole other design. So normally when I do a class, we like, let's just say we'll do this nail. I'm teaching you this nail so that you can do it. And I could see if you got the hang of it. If not, I'm going to help you. Right. And then this girl's over here doing cheetah. As an example, okay? She was over here doing like cheetah. Not She wasn't really doing cheetah, but she was doing something completely different but what I taught her. And I'm over here like, what the fuck is she doing? Like, girl, this is why you're not learning. Now you're going to go tell the world I didn't teach you nothing because you're not fucking paying attention. And I was like, what the hell? So I had to tell her to whip out her shit and do what I said. So I really felt like I had a kinder, a kindergarten. I'm not sure what it was, but definitely um, I've had all kinds of students. It is fun, though. It's funny. But I have had some tough times teaching people. That's why I don't really have a lot of classes because it's stressful, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Damn, this coming out cute. I'm gonna do one more petal. You need other people help you need others during a class mm, yeah i know i i figured after after the, all these years i mean i've never really had friends that do nails so i wouldn't be able to invite anybody but now i'm getting to know other people Why spend your coin if you're going to do it, whatever, for real? Like, honey, 
honey, honey, honey, what happened? I'll fly out. What state are you from? Where are you located? Oh, you're in Oregon? I'm so excited. I got to meet you in two weeks. Yes, girl. Damn, it's already going to be in two weeks. Damn, honey. Damn. Time is flying. All right. Let me close this real quick. <clears throat> well, if I ever have another class, I will definitely consider. I do not have any plans at the moment. Um, Martha, I already put the address on, on Instagram. So next, I'm going to do number 38. I'm going to add some green. A little bit of green to my roses because my costume does have green. And at first, I was like, Zule, you about to fuck it up. But wait till you see the green, green, green. It just makes it pop. Pop, lock, and drop it. Pop, lock, and drop it. No, I'm not going to do my other hand. Just this one. I'm only four hours away from you, but I can't make it. What, Maida? Why not, honey? Why not come in? You should try 3D flowers. You are sculpting when you're... Oh, with the sculpting gel? We did some last time, and then we ended up cooking... We ended up making fucking hot dogs and all kinds of shit. That was fun though. I guess I get impatient a little bit with the sculpting gel. Because I want to have all kinds of colors, and I do have a a range a, a big range of colors. Um, but then when I want to mix them together and shit like that, I'm like, honey, I'm like, I need green. I need this specific shade, and then I have to become a um. I need to remember my color palette over here, and I'm I, so it's, I get stressed out. And with the acrylic, I already have the colors, you know? Doesn't the green just make it, like, pop? Those green leaves just brought this from 100 to 1,000. Y'all were, like, green. The fuck's Green, but ooh hoo, -hoo. I have an arm fucking cramp already, honey. Oh my god, hold on. <sighs> so I like this acrylic because it does give you time to play with it, mold it, give it texture, all kinds of shit. <sighs> Lord, let me do this right now. Let me add a little bit of green. Stunning. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Ain't nothing but a hell dog. I'm like, what way should I do this fucking flower? I mean, leaf. Leafy, 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 leafy. Raise your hand if you thought 
like what the fuck you're gonna add green to it you're gonna fuck up this design you're gonna fuck up your design your nails like you're not trusting this process Story time. Did you ever have a client where I messed up their nail and I didn't know how to fix it? Girl, yes. But then I was like, mm, me, but I trust you know what you're doing. I know my clients always be like hella shook it when I do their nails. They'll be like kind of scared. Even though they already know, I always, I never do them wrong. Um, I'm going to do them, wait, I'm going to get a bigger one. When, like, I do freestyle or something like that, they'll be, like, looking a little worried. And then, <laughs> you just got to trust the process. You thought I was going to mess it up. Yeah, my costume has green leaves. So I was like, I have to incorporate it some some way. Some way. Excuse me. I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it, put it, put it, put it on the nail. Oh, fuck. Like maybe in the beginning. Back in the day, I, I wouldn't see colors like this come together. I'll be like, green, the fuck? We gonna fuck it up. Like, that does not go. Even though on a plant, it does. But on the design, we'll be like, honey, honey. I am from California. So I'm gonna try to give my little leaves some... Some little texture here, like they're turning, you know. Like they're on a little branch or some shit. Oh, wow. Maybe not that part. Are you wearing this weekend or on the actual day? On the actual day. I feel like I need another leaf. I need more green. I need some green, 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 green. Yeah, so for leaves, they get a little tricky. But you just have to give your acrylic time. There's some acrylics that dry fast as fuck, though. So... Um, if your acrylic be drying fast as fuck, then you out of luck. But the key to some good 3D is slower acrylic. Even with acetone, it gives you time to work. And give it that texture. Or if you don't like it, you can still move it out the way and things like that. You know? No, this color is number 38. This is a solid color. Oh, 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 oh my God, it's so pretty. I love it. I don't care. I love it. I feel like I need another one right there. It's like we're about to have a whole bush up in here. It's bringing me memories of when that one time when I was little and I threw that bitch in a fucking rose bush. I'm going to do one more leafy, leafy, leafy right here. What's going on on that ring finger? Um, I'm going to do bling, but I may have to do that tomorrow because right now at nine, I need to go watch a movie. Mm hmm. I cannot leave my son hanging. 
Because when I was little, my parents used to tell me shit and then they would not fucking come through. So I promised myself I would never do that. So if I fucking told you I'm going to watch a movie with you, I'm going to fucking watch a movie. <laughs> wow. Ooh, 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 ooh. So cute. I feel like putting a 3D flower. I've never worn black acrylic nails. What movie are we? Oh, we're going to watch Clifford. So I'm going to file the side right here of that nail. Because with the blooming gel, it got a little... Lumpy, humpty, dumpty. Gonna make it snatched again. Oh my god, did I scratch my flower? And then since I'm filing it a little bit, I'm going to put top coat again right there. But I just want to get rid of the little lumpy from the gel and the flowers that I made earlier. It's looking so fucking cute. I don't know if this one needs it, but... I hear us ex uh I hear a accent spicy. <laughs> I speak Spanish, that's why. Please say one more nail with 3D flowers. I'll beg, no shame. <laughs> oh, I kinda want some more. Like honey. Like the the pinky, huh? Okay, fine. I have nine minutes. Come on, let's add another flower or something. I feel like that pinky needs some flower. All right. I was maybe since I have this one here, I could do at the tip. <whistles> yes, Lori, get it, get it. Time flies with you, right? I'm like, oh, hey, I need to go watch a fucking movie already. I have nine minutes. Nine minutes. Eight. Ooh. All right, maybe I have time for just one flower and like a few leaves. And I have never had nail envy before. I want, girl, cut those nails off or at least one hand and do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh, I know, they came out so pretty, Lori. Your nails came out fucking bomb. Another one, another one. I don't know what I look like best, the 3D ones or the in ones, the inside ones. Queremos una flor. I will cut my nails for these in a heartbeat. Ah, I know what happened. Lori don't like the orange. Lori. Okay, give keep them for a week. And then, oh shit, oh shit. And then you can cut them. They're too beautiful. Too beautiful. I know, Mayra. Ya voy, ya voy. 
pinches flores se tardan un chingo, ¿verdad? The inside one could look good in blue too. I tried it. Well, maybe if it's not too dark. I tried a dark blue and you can't see the fucking flower. I'm about to try black for my first time. Yes, honey. So I'm not going to be able to finish my full set today, but I'll finish it tomorrow. Like the bling and then I'll show you guys what the fuck I did. So I'll just do this flower and the little leaves. And then the bling bling tomorrow. Maybe I'll go live for it. Or maybe it won't be necessary, you know. <clears throat> I like the orange. You just happen to do the set that I melt for red roses with black. Bomb, 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 bomb. I know I'm not a big fan of red and black, but my costume definitely inspired this even more. And then with the green, it's like, ooh, la, la, honey. It's like, oh, my gosh. Any fucking Toxica would be dying for these nails. Toxica. Every time I hear black hole, it makes me fucking laugh. So I, I, oh my God, I didn't fucking tell you guys. Um, I ended up naming one of my new colors, a purple one, Choopy Choopy. I named it Choopy Choopy. From my cochinonas, it's a dark purple. Well, it's dark. Yeah, I guess it is. Yeah, kind of dark. I was going to call it eggplant. But then we put choopy choopy. I was like, I'm about to name all these colors like our code words or whatever. Hell yeah, choopy choopy, honey. Oh my god, I got three minutes, three minutes. Like, come on, acrylic, dry fucking faster. No, you bitch, dry faster. Like the color of veins. Mm? Like a nice purple. I'll show it to you guys another day. Right now we, we can't we don't got time to be showing colors. We need to finish this flower. You and me in the wrong place. Damn, cochinonas. What are you guys thinking about? <laughs> Getting the hammers pasted, pasted, pasted. Damn, it's been a while since I ate a pastel. All right, now the green, the green, green. Oh my God, I love it. It's like Betsy Johnson. Betty Johnson, I mean. Betty, how old do you have to be to take nail classes? Um, That's a good question. I've never had a age limit or a restriction or anything like that. I think as long as you have the guts to learn, you know, that little. I mean, you could learn on YouTube if you're young. 
But for the license, I have no idea. I think you have to be 18 for your license. Oh, 16. To get your license, I feel here it is 18. But to take a class... One minute, one minute, guys. I'm gonna do I feel like the temperature dropped, so my acrylic is running hella slow now. Hella slower. Or I'm gonna do two there. And then I'll do, I'm going to do it right here. Got a multitask here. I want a piña colada. My mom's going to flip when she sees my nails. She's going to be like, oh my God, they're so pretty. And you guys, this is why Instagram nails, social media nails are expensive. Because they take a long ass fucking time. A lot of detail. A lot of detail. That looks fucking bomb. I should probably put one more leaf. Like, one more little one. Time's up. I know. Hold on. I put one more leaf. Mm, I should put it here. I'll put it up here. Um, will you be uploading this? Yes, I always upload my videos on YouTube, but it does take me a f like at least a week or two now because I have so many videos I have pending. Let me close these before I mean me while my petal drains. Yeah, so if you guys are not following me on YouTube, go follow me, go check out my last video that I just uploaded. Um is my Esmeralda set. And if you guys do check it out, please give me a like and leave me a comment so you know you actually watched the damn video. You like, you like the video, you see. Alrighty, there it is. Wow. Wow. Alright guys, well I'll show you guys tomorrow the finished look. Um, they're not done yet, but I got to go already. But I lost the hook on. Oh, I got fucking all the nails. Well, well. I guess it'll give me time to think what the hell I want to add to that finger. All right, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Good night. See you later, alligators. Oh, my God. My legs hurt. My legs. Thank you guys. Here, hold on. Let me show you guys the nails up close. Thank you guys who have stayed here all this time. Look at the nail. So I did file the nail. I'm going to put top coat tomorrow. Let me get closer to the light. Good night, everyone. See you later. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Yes, girl. They look so pretty like that, just like that, huh? But y'all already know we don't do shit just like that. Let me get close to the flower. Wow, 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 wow. All right, good night, guys. Bye. I right, wait. Una noche más.
copas de más Tú no me dejas en paz De mi mente no te